Okay, this is the array plate microarray hybridization station. This is a great little instrument for processing uh, up to 96 microarrays using our hybridization tool here, our AHC 4x24. So the cool thing here is that this tool here turns four microarray slide substrates of 24 microarrays each for a total of 96, okay? And the tool fits nicely here onto our reaction chamber. The glass makes contact with this thermal transfer plate Thermal transfer plate, contact with the glass, okay, for very efficient and uniform transfer of temperature across all 96 microarrays, okay? The way each reaction is separated is with this tool here at the top of the cassette. You can see here there's a gasket. fits over top. It can only go on one way, so you can't mix it up. Now you just tighten down these four screws here, and the gasket is compressed against the slides and forms the reaction areas for 96 microarrays. This is really, really easy to program in our SpotBot, SpotBot Titan, uh, Nanoprint microarrays. All of our microarrays print into this 96 well format really easily, very simple to do. To prevent evaporation of all the wells, we just simply use these foil seals. Okay, here's a new one. To just demonstrate how it goes on. Okay, I'll just use one that I've used previously here. We don't waste one just for the movie. But you just have to push it on, okay? Rub it on with your thumb, or you can use another tool if you want, okay? And what you're after is to see that indentation, right? When you see that indentation on the foil seal for each well, you know you've sealed it up properly, okay? The tool fits onto here. So once you have all your reactions set up, okay, just insert it until it drops all the way down. Okay, so the glass is making contact with the base plate. Okay, we set our temperature, 37 for serum-based microarrays. Uh, one microliter of serum in a 75 microliter reaction is plenty to get a very strong signal on our platform. Okay, we want to run serum-based tests at 37 degrees Celsius. Our time here is one hour. It's very easy to program these times and temperatures. You just literally arrow up and arrow down what you want. Okay, speed is the same way. Uh, time is the same way, okay? If I hold this button down, it will jump between hours and minutes. Okay, so it, it, you don't have to like wait for a lot of buttons to press while you get the time that you want, okay? Let's set it back here for one hour. Okay, there we go. Okay, one hour. When you have it all programmed, you have your reaction set up and sealed up properly, hit the start button, okay? Your timer will keep track of the time, your speed is displayed, your temperature is displayed. When one hour is finished here in this program, the timer will go off, the, the shaker will um, stop and you can take the tool off and move directly to your to your wash step. Super easy to program, super easy to use. You amortize your microarray cost over 24 microarrays per slide substrate. That dramatically increases the throughput of your testing as well as lowers the cost of each microarray to produce, um, which is great. Uh, once the hybridization is finished, okay, uh, you perform all your washing and drying uh, 
on this tool. This tool can be submerged and buffer completely if you like. And for detection, okay, the top can come off and this whole base plate fits into the ArrayPix micro array scanner, okay? So nanoprint micro air to manufacture, array plate hybridization station for processing, array picks for scanning, 96 microarrays on four slide substrates. Thanks.